This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Wednesday, September 9th, 2015. Euro dollar. So the price action in the euro still looks corrective at this point, this latest bounce, in favor of what should be a lower top, an additional weakness below that recent low that we saw down around the 110.85 area. At this point, only a break back above recent highs that come in around 113.33 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Sterling dollar. So a nice recovery in cable over the past several days or few sessions with the market now trading back above the 200 day moving average. The market had recently taken out some key support at 151.70 before bouncing. And at this point though, despite the latest bounce, a lower top is favored ahead of a resumption of declines back down towards next key support at 158.89, which guards against psychological barriers at 150 further down. Really, only a close back above 155 would put the pressure back on the top side. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has seen a bit of a correction in recent sessions to the upside, though the market still looks like it's putting in a lower top at 121.74 ahead of the next downside extension below those extreme lows that we saw the other the other week at 116.12. At this point, only a break back above 121.74 would compromise the bearish outlook. Euro Swiss. So another upside break for Euro Swiss, this time taking out the most recent recovery high at 109.62. And that break now confirms a higher low at 107.14 and opens a measured move upside extension towards the 112 area. At this point, only back below 107.14 would compromise the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie seeing a bit of a rebound in recent trade, though the market is still locked within a very well-defined downtrend and any rallies are viewed as corrective in favor of a lower top and fresh downside extension towards the next measured move, which comes in around 68.30. At this point, we need to see a break all the way back above 74.40 to really take the pressure off the downside. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD seeing a bit of a setback in recent trade, though the market is overall locked within a very well defined uptrend with setbacks very well supported. At this point, a higher low is sought out in favor of the next upside extension towards 135, while ultimately only back up below 128.60 would compromise the constructive outlook. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi remains locked within a well defined downtrend with the market set on retesting those recent extreme lows that we saw, those multi year lows at 61.30. But at this point, if we do see a bit of a correction to the upside, look for that rally to stall out to below 65 on a daily close basis. But ultimately, only back above 67.40 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. SPX 500. So although we've seen a little bit of a rally in recent trade in this market, the market is now looking like it could be putting in a lower top around the 2000 level in favor of the next downside extension back towards those recent extreme lows in the 1830 area and then below 1819 further down. At this point, only a break back above or a close back above 2000 would compromise the newly adopted bearish outlook. Gold. So gold setbacks have been very well supported above 1100 on a closed basis and the market looks like it could be continuing with its recovery outlook since basing out by those multi-year lows below 1100 and then 1073 area several days back. Look for a higher low now to carve out above 1100 to be confirmed on a break back above 1170 exposing then medium term resistance at 1233. At this point only a close below 1100 would compromise the recovery outlook for gold.